waking up early in the morning and coming to breakfast and having a great view what can I ask more for it's just like everything seems so cool in the previous episode we rented a car and drove to this beautiful hotel which is almost empty because of the pandemic Yesterday, we walked around Pella, a cute village on the west side of Lake Orta, and had a short visit to Orta San Giulio, a town on the other side of the lake. But as I promised, we are going back there today to explore more and take a boat to the island in the middle of the lake. Now it's time to get the boat and go to the island. We don't need a ticket, we can just pay on board. Are you going there? Sì. Okay. Dobbiamo prendere un ritorno o spaghiamo poi Ogni è già compreso, oh, okay. ogni quarto d'ora c'è un rientro, alle 6 e mezza l'ultimo rientro. Ok. 2? Sì, 2. Sì, sì. 9 euro. Ok. Sì. Grazie. Sì. Grazie. Prego. Isola San Giulio is only 400 meters from Orta San Giulio's waterfront. There are frequent ferries which cost only 3 euros 50 for a return trip to the island. Now we are in the island and you don't see probably but I'm smiling. It is a common belief that this little island has been inhabited by snakes, dragons, and monsters before San Giulio landed on it in the late 4th century. The saint founded a church where he later was buried in. The church and the island are named after him. This narrow street which goes around the island is called Via del Silencio e della Meditazione, which means the way of silence and meditation. It's so cool because here when you walk, you see a lot of inspiring phrases and one of them, I think it was my favorite, walls are in your mind. This one is accept yourself, grow. We went around the island completely and now we are doing it again. Uh, the island is not big and it's just one path and around the island you can just follow that. Now we are going to take some photos for Instagram. After going around the island for two times, now it's time to go back to the mainland. Excuse me, this one it goes to... Two yeah. Thank you. Some people, they believe that Lake Orta actually is the most beautiful lake in Italy. I don't know if it is the most or one of the most, but I know it's so beautiful. Now we are walking to one of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a bit hot and climbing up. I can't even breathe and climbing up. It makes it harder. Sacro Monte di Orta, which means the sacred mountain of Orta, is a Roman Catholic complex on top of a hill where you can have a great view of the lake. You can walk from the town center of Orta San Giulio to visit this beautiful site. Now we are driving to another town to have lunch and still we are around the lake. We just want to see as much as we can. 
we are in Armenia town and we are going to search for a restaurant. It's a cute town. I don't know what is this. I mean, what is the point of that? Usually they do it to water plants, but I don't know. They water the water. <laughs> yeah. We found a great restaurant with the view. We are not exactly next to the lake, but we have the view of the lake. And the food is what I wanted, salad, because it's a hot day. And I love it. And I like tuna. Mm. And Bruno went for carbonara. Omenia is a small village in the north of Lake Orta and it is home to 15,000 people. It is one of the most beautiful villages in the north of Italy. We really enjoyed our time in Lake Orta, but it's time to leave this place. And tonight we are still here, but tomorrow we are going to hit the road again. See you later. <laughs>